here is our next set of problems. We want to find the vertex of parabola. What we are given here, let's see, this is in your vertex form, which is in this form here, a x minus h squared plus k, okay, where your vertex is h k. So let's look at this. If this were in this form, you have x minus your h plus k. Your a is in front of there. So our a here is 1. It's understood here. Now this turned to a plus. So the only way that this could turn to a plus is if that were entered as a negative 2 because it would have gone x minus negative 2. That would have made that a plus and then plus 6. So my vertex is going to be negative 2, 6. Okay, number 5 is the same. So x minus 4. Now this is x minus, and then my h was entered, 4. So my h here is just a positive 4, and then that's plus a negative 1. So we're going to have 4, negative 1 for that vertex. Okay, so basically anytime I'm plugging into that h there, if you have a plus sign, okay, you're going to pull out a negative. Minus sign, you're going to pull out a positive. So you're going to pull the opposite out of the parentheses for that x value of your vertex. Okay, now this next one is in this form. So ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, so in this one, to find the x value of the vertex, you're going to go negative b over 2a. Okay, so in this case, you have an A of negative 1, a B of negative 2, and a C of negative 3. So let's go ahead and plug those in. So we have X equals negative B, negative, negative 2, over 2 times negative 1. So it's going to be a positive 2 over negative 2, which is going to give us a negative 1. Okay, then to find the y value of the vertex, we're going to plug it back into the equation. So y equals negative, negative 1 squared, minus 2 times negative 1, minus 3. So negative 1 squared is going to give us a positive 1. So it's going to be negative, positive 1. Negative 2 times negative 1 is going to give you a positive 2, minus 3. So negative 1 plus 2. Oh, hold on. There we go. Sorry, negative 1 plus 2. We really don't need that for this. I'm just showing. And negative 2. So our vertex is negative 1, negative 2. Okay, and then we also want to know if this is a minimum or a maximum. So remember from the last slide we had if A was greater than 0, we were going up. If a was less than zero, we were going down. So this one is a is negative one, so it's less than zero. So this is what's going to look like. And if we have this point of the vertex, okay, there we go. Okay, this point of the vertex, that is going to be a max point. So this is going to have a maximum. Okay, if a is greater than zero, then it would have a minimum. I don't know why it keeps doing that, sorry. There we go. Okay, let's do this last one here. So we have an a value of negative four, a b of 16, a c of negative one. So I'm gonna go x equals negative 16 over 2 times negative 4. So negative 16 over negative 8 gives you a positive 2. Then we're going to plug that back in. So y, we, it's an ugly y, there we go. y equals negative 4 times 2 squared plus 16 times 2 minus 1. I'm just going to go ahead and put this in like that. So I've got negative 4 times
times 2 squared plus 16 times 2 minus 1. So 15. So I've got a vertex of negative 2. Oh, that's positive 2. Yeah, negative 2 is from the other one. Okay, positive 2, 15. So my vertex. And let's see, our a is less than 0. So this is going to look like this, which means it has a maximum. 